Hey, recording live. The newest episode of Marta the Minimalist podcast, exclusively for you, the members of The Minimalist Method for Prosperous Female Entrepreneurs. I love helping other people to not have to go through some of the tests and trials that I did if possible. This is where you get the first dibs of the best business strategies ever so you can grow your revenue while minimalizing your time, your efforts, and your energy. There's great coaches. There's people in this field. So yeah, you want them on your team. live on Facebook for you, exclusively for you, the members of the Minimalist Method for Prosperous Female Entrepreneurs. Um, We go live weekly and we record my episode of Marta the Minimalist, which you can listen to on most platforms where you can get your podcast. So I invite you to subscribe to Marta the Minimalist on your favorite podcast platform so you can um, get the notifications when I release the newest episode. I'm here with Dr. Amy and we're going to talk to you about, um, everybody talks about self-care, right? Like we even post quotes about self-care and (laughs) it's like, you know, we've been probably, we've been on TV talking about self-care and, uh, but I love to dig a little bit deeper here and bring on experts like Dr. Amy, who are able to tell you the science behind it. Yes. It's good to practice self-care and then what does that look like? What could you do? Dr. Amy will tell you a little bit about that, but what's the science behind it, uh, right? And Dr. Amy will tell you about the science behind getting practicing self-care and the method of getting your chiropractic adjustments. And when that happens, how does that affect your mental health and how does that affect your body? And then I'll talk to you probably a little bit. I just can't help myself about energetically what that's doing for you and your connection to the divine. So without further ado, Dr. Amy, though, I want you to tell them who you are, what's brought you to what you do today and anything else you'd love to share about your story before we dive in and why the heck should they listen to you? Those are all really good questions. Uh, so my name is Amy Burleson. I am a chiropractor at Live Well Chiropractic. I have been here for about four years in practice for almost 24. Um, so it's been a little while. And like you said about the, we said self-care so much. I feel like I've been saying it for 24 years now in practice. Um, I got into this actually from my dad. He'd had such a good experience with chiropractic when I was a kid that I started looking into it. Uh, my mom is a nurse, which I can't say enough, enough about the nursing profession. I just couldn't do any blood or anything like that. So, um, so wanting to be in the healthcare field, I started looking into chiropractic and pretty much from the time I was 16, I knew this is what I was going to do. So it's, it's been a long time since chiropractic has been on my mind and it was the best thing. One of the best decisions I've ever made was to do this. Awesome. So, uh, I said to you listeners, Hey, I'm, we're going to be telling you about the science behind self-care and I'm a big proponent of regularly getting yourself adjusted and your kids adjusted. And you might know if, and, and tell me if I'm wrong about this, if you're listening or watching on a platform that allows you to comment, tell me what you know about chiropractic care. Do you a know it as like, ouch, my back hurts. I got to go get that fixed. Or, um, B are you the type that's like, I love chiropractic care because I know that it supports X, Y, Z. And yes, I go see my chiropractor on a regular, even when I don't have any pain. Um, and n- neither, or is the right answer. Like the chiropractic care can be both and it can be either. So Dr. Amy, can you tell me a little bit about the science behind what happens to your body when you get adjusted? Yes. And I, um, I'd like to touch on something a little bit before I yeah. go into that, because you did mention there is no right or wrong way to use chiropractic. Yes. We see a lot of people who have the, you know, ouch, my back is sore. So I'm going to come in and address that. 
going all the way towards, you know, people who come in and bring their families in and they come in on a regular basis to maintain. So there is no right or wrong way. We'll never say, no, you can't do that. It's always up to you, but we do like to present all the many different ways you can use chiropractic. And really what it boils down to is chiropractic, chiropractic directly affects the function of the nervous system. And the way that it does that is, well, um, most people know that what we work with is the spine. So really the main reason that we work with the spine is it just so happens to protect your nervous system, which every function in your body is controlled directly through that nervous system going down from the brain out to every single cell in your body. So as chiropractors, we look at your spine, if your spine isn't moving properly, It is interfering with how nerves work that come out through that joint, wherever that nerve goes, isn't going to function well. So that's not to say that someone comes in and says, oh, I, you know, my child is coming in and I noticed their stomach issues are better. So as chiropractors, we don't treat any of that. We don't treat stomach issues, but the way that can happen is through the nervous system. So if you free up spinal motion, it allows those nerves to work that much better. That's why you're seeing that result. Okay. Awesome. And so when you're seeing that result, I I love to talk about this is when you're taking care of your body and you're doing things to make yourself, to allow yourself to feel better and more relaxed. Now, all of a sudden, instead of um, focusing on the stress that you're feeling, or you're focusing on uh, the pain that you're feeling, you are, um, you are now like living a good life. So now you're able to do more fun things, right? So whereas before maybe your knee bothered you in conjunction with your hip dysplasia, which I don't know if I'm using that terminology correctly, but (laughs) now all of a sudden you're able to go on hikes with your kids. And now all of a sudden you're able to lay a certain way in your bed and fully relax. And, uh, and if you don't have any pain and, uh, you're experiencing chiropractic care, for the support of your nervous system. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of what will happen to like your nervous system, whenever, like talk a little bit about, you know, fight or flight and how maybe you're reacting to certain things a certain way and how chiropractic care can help your mental health. So it's almost like a calming effect. You know, what our, you know, uh, goal is to take pressure off of that system. So like you mentioned the fight or flight, we don't want your body to be in a constant state of that fight or flight and actually being in pain. So there's a couple of different ways that we can affect that being in pain can create that fight or flight, you know, response for, for chronically, because how often have you talked to someone who says, yes, I've been in pain, but you know, it's been years almost to the point where it's background. Mm -hmm. So actually when someone starts getting adjusted and they've been in that kind of pain for so long and it starts to change, um, it might even seem to be worse in the beginning because it had been such background noise and now we're bringing it to the forefront. And then once it starts to get better, it's this, you know, I, I can't believe that it could be like this and your body starts to express ease. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I can attest to my own experience coming into your office where I, um, you know, I'm a part of the minimalist, right? So I talk about, I try not to overclutter my schedule and Mm -hmm. try to um, not have overwhelm or brain clutter. But the reality is I'm a mom of six, right? We run uh, two businesses. My husband's got, um, he runs the development business, which comes with a lot of stuff, a lot, a a lot, lot, a lot of stuff. That's as much as I like to not clutter up my brain. It it definitely does can weigh on myself as well. And, uh, you know, I, you guys know, I, you know, recently lost my mom. I had a new baby. I have my dad who's, who's got some things and I help to take care of him too. Mm -hmm. So what, does that sound like probably sounds like your life, right? Like if you're listening, you're (laughs) like, yeah, I've got like, that's everybody. That's, that's everyone. We've all got our stuff and it's about uh, either allowing it to totally take over your life and allowing yourself to react to it and allowing it to consume you, allowing it to eat away at your energy. Um, 
And then flipping the switch on that and turning it into a fun experience where you're just experiencing it all and you're in the present moment of it all. Mm -hmm. And I've had moments when I'm very tired because the baby woke up five times the night before. And I'm like, I think I'm just going to go home for the rest of the day after my adjustment and do nothing and just lay in my bed and just snuggle him up and nurse him. And then after my adjustment, I'm like, oh, we're ready to go. Let's go. (laughs) You know, like I can go do this and do this. Great. So glad we could do that for people. Yeah. Um, You know, and kind of tying that in to mental health, I was what we had talked about, you know, minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had a thought in my head, you know, in no one, every, everyone here probably hasn't seen me speak. So the way I speak is I've got like a million different things going on in my head and I forget some things and I go back to it as you and I are a lot of life. You, you may do that. Yes. So well, oftentimes, like I was talking about chronic pain, there are times when someone comes in and if they're in pain or not moving around a lot, the pain isn't always necessarily the major problem. It is not being able to do what we want to do. And that's how it can tie into mental health also. Mm -hmm. So if someone is actually in physical pain, you know, someone comes in and they really like to garden, Mm -hmm. you know, and they're finding they have physical limitations Mm -hmm. and they can't garden. Well, not only is that a physical stress on your body, that is an emotional stress on your body too, because that could be definitely considered self-care where you are actually doing something you enjoy and now you aren't able to. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of, sometimes you come in for, you know, the physical aspect, but it also is affecting the mental aspect in that secondary way. Yeah, absolutely. People can deal with pain. If I, if, if they say I can't go out and play ball with my son, that's a big, big problem. Yeah, absolutely. And I'd love to talk a little bit more about mental health. And I know from working on your accounts on a marketing aspect and being rejected a million times by Facebook uh, for your ads, I know you're not supposed to, you're not really uh, supposed to, even though I don't believe in supposed to talk about or promise anything when it comes to mental health and depression and anxiety in relation to chiropractic adjustments. Um, But do you have anything to say about that? Oh, I always have something to say about it all for sure. (laughs) Um, One thing, but what you touched on, I will not say that we treat any of those things Mm -hmm. because we don't. Mm -hmm. So it really, it's, it's so simple. And that's actually one of the reasons why I love doing what I do is what we do directly impacts the nervous system. If your nervous system is not able to function fully for any reason, and we deal specifically with, you know, spinal joint issues and how it can be affecting your nerve function going, you know, to everywhere in your body. If that is one of the reasons, then alleviating that pressure, that interference, allowing your nerves to function, restoring joint motion, it will have an effect. Mm -hmm. So we don't we don't treat any of that, but the way it can be affected is a result of restoring proper motion and proper function back into the body. So yes. And, and going back to what I just mentioned that if you are able to do the things that you love to do again, mm-hmm. that's going to help with, uh, mental wellness also. Okay. Awesome. So I would love to shift gears to the, to the next topic of this. And that is work-life balance. Your <laughs> mom, You've yes. got uh, two two kids, two and middle schoolers, yeah, middle schoolers, and so I think it would definitely be worth it to talk to you about what are some tips that you might give to other moms who are looking for more work life balance that could help take care of themselves a little bit more. Um, scheduling, even if you schedule ten to fifteen minutes into your day to do something that you enjoy it's going to make a difference. It's going to give you something to look forward to. Um, I know I, myself, I do something I enjoy every single day and it can be different. And so not overscheduling yourself. Yeah. I know it's really easy to say sometimes, but, uh, it's really so important. The whole culture of busy, busy, busy. I don't really think is doing us any favors. Mm -hmm. I think we need some downtime for ourselves, connecting with our family, because that's going to help with 
mental health also. And I know I had mentioned this uh, before, but giving ourselves some grace, because we're always going to have those times in our lives where it may be impossible to do that. Well, not impossible, but it's going to be a little more challenging. And just as long as that doesn't become the norm in what we usually do, we just kind of have to give ourselves some grace. I think as moms, just in general, the, the busyness in, you know, that the lifestyle that we're almost expected to lead now, we, it's okay to not be busy and to not do things. Yeah. Yeah. And I second that. I mean, that's my the whole mantra in life. And that's why actually this week I took like a staycation with, um, with my kids and I didn't that's unplug. Awesome. normally I unplug, but I didn't unplug for the mere purpose of they're all starting school. You know, some already have started yeah. school. Some, ha- some are starting next week. And obviously, um, you know, it just, that's the way that it, that it was, but in knowing that it was going to be a time of transition for the family, I chose yes. this week. And honestly, this is the only set booked appointment that I had this entire week. So oh, well, if, thank you. Yeah, of course. I'm like, Oh yeah, we'll, we'll get together and have a good chat. We'll have a good time. That sounds like a staycation <laughs> material to me. Fantastic. Um, and the team will take the, 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 uh, episode and do what, what they do best with it. Yeah. But that's to tell you, like, when I say this, I feel a little bit, uh, I'm trying not to, I'm, I'm not trying to brag about like, yeah, I did it. Right. I'm trying to say if me, if uh, me as a mom with six kids going to four different schools with, uh, taking care of other family members who have multiple, uh, medical needs with, um, running a company with, um, having a husband who has a very full plate with his development, uh, companies right now. Um, if I can do it, if I can say no to the million things that, that popped up as opportunities mm-hmm. to fill up the week, because I had a free week all of a sudden, cause I blocked off my calendar from, from work, then I, I know you can do it. All you have to, to do no is an important thing. Yes. All you have to do is resist the urge to be the, um, I think it's Louisa from Encanto, right? The one who, oh, put, yes. who puts everything on her, on her shoulders, which I know as moms, we often want to do. So Dr. Amy actually, and, uh, Dr. Bree from live well chiropractic and of course, Dr. Chad, um, and the chiropractic team at Live Well Chiropractic has put something together for you guys to, you don't have to take the whole day to yourself for this. Just mm-hmm. take a couple hours. But if you want to, you certainly can. Yeah. We give you permission. Yes, absolutely. I, I know. I know I will. But um, <laughs> what are we doing? I know I bought my tickets on that day and I actually, the event sounded so awesome that I actually invited like multiple of my friends and they all were like, wait a oh. minute the ticket is this much and you're getting this much. And we, you- there's actually a lot and we're adding to it every day. So we are having a self-care brunch. So some of the things that we're going to be doing, uh, myself and Dr. Bree are going to be speaking about some of the things very similar about what we're, what we're talking about today. Uh, some more things that you can do. And also we actually have two massage therapists in our office and they will be there doing hand massages, which that alone, I bet most people would want to go. And we also have someone coming from pretty hair salon and they're going to be doing makeup, doing hair braids, all kinds of fun stuff. And we have some great food vendors that have stepped up and donated. So we have, so we're going to have good loving is going to be represented Peace, Love, and Little Donuts, um, Kelly O's, Kelly O's Restaurant. I know there's one that just opened up not, not far from us here. They are going to be giving some great food um, for everyone there. They're and so also, I'm sorry? They're wonderful. Oh my gosh, she, is, she has been fantastic. She's going to have all kinds of great stuff. And we're going to have coffee from Starbucks, Ooh. which, mm. yes, sign me up for that. Yeah. And we have, <laughs> yeah. I, well, yes, I will be speaking. So I am definitely, I'm excited about it. And um, we have some great goodie bags. Yeah. We have all kinds of bags. Poppins Playhouse. That's a new place for uh, parents to take children there. It's this great little. Oh, cool. Yeah. It, I saw pictures. I haven't been yet, but 
it looks really awesome. Yeah. And we also have stuff, uh, exercise, Fit uh, America repurposed or not. Repurposed. Yeah. Uh, on core. Style on for they they're actually they donated a great uh gift basket for ref. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, there's there's some really good stuff, and we're still in contact with people. There's gonna be coupons. I know Gigi's cupcakes is they're putting coupons in the goodie bags. Lavana Bratique. Oh, she's nice. Like, I love the Lavana Bratique. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like anytime you, you have to go in there to pick things up, like, oh, I'm just gonna look for a couple minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like honestly you guys there's so many gifts from all these local businesses in this swag bag yes it's incredible so when you we put the link in the description of this and we'll put it in the show notes of every platform that this will be shared but um the point is when you look at that description and then you look at the price of that ticket you're gonna be like i'm buying a ticket for two because we are gonna be yes. like so pampered and there's actually so much that and photography by a local photographer who's summer a summer kraus which yeah. i've known her since i've had my first baby she used to work for me i think it was her first job at brewster's so ice, cream, funny. ice yep. cream shop then she was my very first babysitter i didn't trust anybody else but her <laughs> to be my babysitter and then of course she ends up uh being one of your uh what is her position at live well chiropractic um, I would say uh, we, call, we say CA, so chiropractic assistant. She yeah. like runs the show. Yeah. And she's started her own photography business. And I love yeah. that. I actually yeah. photographed her baby, her first baby. I did her newborn. Oh my gosh. The newborn photographer. And yeah, she, so there'll be photographs. You yeah. She's going to be taking portraits. So after you've gotten yeah. your makeup or your braids or your blowout, um, you can actually get a portrait done by her that you can use as your Facebook profile pic. If you are a business yeah. owner, as your LinkedIn picture, like, yeah, you guys, this is crazy. You're getting all of this for an incredible ticket price. And all you have to do is click on the oh link, buy a ticket for yourself and a friend, please. We'd love to have you. Oh, and also let's mention the big, the big raffle prize, which for, oh, yes. the, <laughs> yeah. The Hidden Valley condo stay. Yes. Tell them all about it. So that will be, be in hands. Yes, I can do jazz hands. So a Hidden Valley condo stay, we're going to be raffling off. Uh, maybe some time restrictions uh, mm -hmm. as far as when you can go, but that's going to be part of it. A really beautiful condo at a ski resort, Hidden Valley, pool there, all kinds of, although probably won't be using a pool now, but lots of nature trails, getting yeah. outside, really nice. And, um, so we've actually been helping, uh, um, the live well chiropractic team, um, to th think this, up, put it together make some connections and promote it obviously. And we've been helping them with their online marketing now for, um, for, you know, the whole year of 2022. And I know that I've loved it. It's I'm my slow. Yeah, I know. I, it's my passion work to support women um, business owners in the industries of helping families enjoy their lives more and feel better and take care of each other, which Livewell definitely does. I mean, I'll, I'll walk in there with my five kids to get adjusted and I'm listening to Dr. Bree giving, um, you know, really listening to uh, the, her patients over the phone. And sometimes mm -hmm. it, it has nothing to do with chiropractic care. Sometimes they're just like, Hey, we respect your opinion. Like, can you oh, tell yeah. us what you think about, like, do you feel like I'm breastfeeding my baby enough, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's, she certainly doesn't have to answer those questions, but she'll do her best for you because she's full, really full service resource. Yeah. So, um, what do you feel your experience has been working with us? Fantastic. Um, you guys are really easy to work with. I know anytime I've ever had any questions, you guys are right on it. You're prompt, open to suggestion, give us great suggestions and easy to talk to. Cause I, that, that actually makes a really big difference to me personally. And you guys have been great to work with because you're easy to talk to get Thank things done. You. Thank you. And my new passion has been to work with local businesses like you, because I actually, rather than working with a big name company that's like, say from New York or California or wherever in mm -hmm. the world, um, sometimes even, you know, they're from overseas, like in India or South Africa. Yeah. 
to have someone local to you. I feel I love to come in obviously for my adjustments, but we, myself or a team member will come in on a regular basis. Like, Hey, we need more reels. Hey, um, we need more pictures. Um, and instead of you having to do the lead work, leg work, because we're local, we can just come there and, and grab them. And then we have what we need. Um, and yeah. because I'm local, like I'm running into people and I'm like, Hey, wait, you, your head hurts. You need to go to this chiropractor because <laughs> they take insurance. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great with kids. Hey, they have an upcoming event. You should come with me. I'm going. So I I like, I've been your hype girl behind the scenes, just so you guys know, I'm definitely your hype girl. Everybody I talk to, it's like, I've been feeling sick. I have this, you know, this headache. I'm like, you need to go to the chiropractor. My knee bothers me. Oh, do you know about Dr. Shad and his technique here? Yeah. Add yourself to their email list because he's got a whole presentation on that technique that he. Oh, we appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's it, you guys. That's your episode for the week. You, we talked about self care and work life balance, and um, we really want you to take care of yourself. Dr. Amy would love to meet you. I'd love to meet you in person if you're local to the Pittsburgh area, or why not get yourself a hotel room and come to the event, and then just do nothing in your hotel room for the rest next of the day. Binge watch things. That sounds amazing to me. Yeah. I mean, with the ticket price, you're going to have room left in the, in the budget and Hey, you're going to be all dolled up with hair and makeup. You might as well take yourself out for the night. Why not? Why not? But we'd love to have you. Um, it's in two weeks and again, look at that ticket price and go like, sign me up. So, and Mm -hmm. let me bring a friend too, which we hope you do. It'll be a great event. Um, and for you, Marta, the minimalist, loyal listeners next week we will be doing an episode with deborah deborah is going to be telling you all about her amazing um apparel line which has the wittiest things on it and it promotes um all of the values that i am very very passionate about so i can't wait to have deborah on the show deborah williams and um for us to talk about that with you. You're going to want to listen up. We're going to get a, probably a little bit controversial, but, um, yeah. but you know, we have to speak our truth and that's what I always encourage you to do too. So we'll see you next week. And Dr. Amy, I will see you soon too. Thank you for having me. I had a great time. Bye everyone.